Look, Link. Do you see it? What has happened to this place? Oh. What, what is the meaning of this? The island. It is... We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here. No sign of him remains. Boy! Oh, there! Link! So, you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit, Jaboon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the Shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He's in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born. On Outset. Yet, even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hope to get. But they immediately set sail for Outset Island, and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Valu must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. So, Jaboon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we go first to Windfall and search for them there? Just as the postman told us, the pirate ship is stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think we should try to find out what the pirates are up to, without them finding out about you. Is it true that pirates have invaded our peaceful little island? That's terrible news! What am I supposed to do if they come to my coffee house and start raising a ruckus? It's true! 100% true! I've seen it myself! A stern-looking pirate ship sailing full speed toward this little town! I swear on the sea! Now let's say just for a moment that pirates actually did come ashore. What would they want with a peaceful village like this? Tell me that, laddie! Ah, nothing better than a cup of refreshment at your local cafe after a long day's work. Absolutely nothing! I'm telling you, those pirates were just looking for a little relaxation. You don't find cafes on the high seas! Have you heard? There are pirates here on this island now. Right now! Well, that's what they say anyway. Me? I don't believe it. I just saw some strangers here in town. They went over toward the bomb shop. Why would they be going there? We're closed today, so scram! Now!
Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast-talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh! Oh, yeah! That was smooth! I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto! He spills the beans! Good work, Gonzo! Really, just top-notch! It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit. Such cunning! You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra's smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas! Yep, the greatest! Hey, you idiot! Keep your mouth shut, yeah? <laughs> Don't be stupid! <laughs> Miss Tetra! Are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? I mean, uh, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So what say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? Guys, back me up. You're all fools, do you know that? You saw that demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry on to Outset, or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Uh, not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, a treasure. Huh? <laughs> All right, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light. So no sleeping in. Understood? Aye, aye! Say there, brother. What was today's password again? Marco! Are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is Swabies, yeah? Remember? You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. And he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is Swabbies, yeah? Swabbies, eh? Who cleans pirate's ears? Right, right! You may enter. Oh, Link! My old swabby Link! So you're alive? All the other pirates said you got done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress. So I thought... Never mind what I thought. You're alive! 
Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder. Which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But, I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. All right, why don't we set you to your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck. You'll need it, Swabby. You can see there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time when you pressed the switch, platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well, this time, there aren't any. Which means you have to jump from one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. Ha! And that's not all. This time, I've put a gate on this door, too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before time runs out. Run out of time, and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. The switch that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to this side before time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give it your best shot, Swabby. Yeah. Ah! What? You've got to be... You did it already? You're... You're incredible. This isn't good. I've never even passed this test. How could he do it so quickly? And make it look so easy? And if I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. You're the best swabby of all time. So, I guess I'll just give you the bonds. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious, really serious. Okay? Okay? Yay! That's mighty yeah. courageous of you, trying to steal treasure from pirates. Uh -huh. I suppose I should be shocked but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things can go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs, anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure, too. Right now, Jaboon is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer but we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jaboon tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You better be quick, kid. Wow, awesome. You have a stone just like the one that Miss Tetra has. Hey, how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky! Well done. Our preparations are complete. If what the girl says is true, the pirates won't be leaving until morning. You must meet with Jaboon and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us delay no longer, Link.
Have you noticed lately? Morning has not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle, the land that was so ravaged by monsters. It is as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Baloo spoke of? Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. We can speak with Jaboon after you do. Always happy to see your bright, shining face. Link, my dear, sweet Link. You're safe. Oh, that's wonderful. Just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You and your sister, Aril, are trying so hard to be strong. And I've just been sitting here, moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Link. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Link... This is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. Hey! You and your sister love this soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you any time you like. Grandma's going to try to be strong, so you try to be strong too. But don't do anything reckless. All right? <gasps> Are you ready? If that is the case, then we must search for the cave around the back side of Outset, where Jaboon is said to hide. Well met indeed, Jaboon. I am pleased to see that you are safe. The events that we have long feared seem to have been set into motion. Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. If you have sought me out, it must mean you have found the Hero of Time, does it not? Unfortunately, that is not so. Then for what purpose have you come to see me? The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. Promise? 
You suggest I leave the fate of Hyrule up to mere chance? I do. It is the only way. I see. Then I suppose it is up to the gods to deem whether his courage is true. I give you the guidepost to the gods. Thank you, Jabu. This jewel should dispel the curse that Ganon has cast upon this land. So, that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. Tell me, Hyrule King. Have you learned the whereabouts of the one who carries on the bloodline of the princess, Zelda? I believe I have. That is well. You must protect Zelda. She cannot be permitted to fall into the hands of Ganon. I am counting on you. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all of the pearls. Are you ready, Link? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your seed chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jaboon has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far. Wandering traveler who seeks the guidepost of the goddesses, place the pearl you hold here. Yeah. 